So here we are at free agency and uh, no crashes today, please uh, perform well NHL 21. Um, we are in that third year, which someone was saying they kept having crashes too in that third year. So I don't know. We'll see what happens anyway. Um, if you do uh, keep up with the uh, community section on my channel, you will know that's why there was no episode yesterday. So here we are. Anyway, for agency, I've already gone ahead and um, offered, made offers to coaches and scouts, so all that's taken care of. I usually do that off screen because that's, you know, behind the scenes kind of stuff. But what we do want to do here is uh, spend money because <laughs> we have 45 million of cap space. We're not going to go for any of the big, big, big fish. But what we will do here is uh, grab some guys that could be uh, extremely beneficial and that makes sense for us to pursue. And that would mainly be defensemen here. Um, I think we're okay on the forward end of things. That's where most of our young guns are starting to enter. We only have one young defenseman NHL ready, and we're and the rest of our defense, of course, bad. Um, we might pick up a goalie as well, just to see if there's you know a nice little kind of tweener goalie in there. Otherwise, rolling with two eighty eighty ones is not going to be the greatest thing on the planet. But here's a couple people I'm looking at: Severson and Flurry. One's righty, one's lefty. Both two way guys. Um, now Hayden Fleury does have a team interested, but it is the Rangers and they're, you know, kind of around the same boat we are. Both of these guys age-wise make sense. They're kind of, they're in there, in there or hitting their prime and, uh, you know, not like the top dogs in the free industry. They're solid players, but we're going to give them something that competitive teams might not give them. And they're both young enough to maybe want to prove themselves as top two guys and increase their own value here. So that's what we're going to kind of do. Two year deals. That's it. We're going to do two years each, but we're cranking them up to uh, big bucks. Um, Searson, we're going to give him like top two money for two years. Eight mil for Searson, eight by two. Same thing for Hayden Fleury. Now, I'm only going to get two of these guys. I'm not going to go too crazy. I mean, this is already kind of crazy, but again, we also need to spend money. So this is going to be 16 million spent. Both of these guys signed for two years. We're getting them good money. <laughs> I mean, 16 million over two two years, nothing to nothing to scoff at, right? We're kind of giving them almost well, like 33% more than they would get pretty much anywhere else. You know, Severson did want some term. He wants to settle down, but you know, we'll give him a big chance. He'll start chasing a cup, you know, after this contract. Or we can even trade him on the last last year of it, but I'd like to avoid that. I want these guys to help train us up. So, going for those two. Now, we're going to have to trade a defenseman or two. That won't be the biggest of deals. Or we could use some in the AHL. But I'd rather trade some. We're going to have a lot after this. Now, goalie-wise, yes, there is just jerking. Um, eh. Not really. I mean, yeah, I could go after him. But I'm not. He wants, you know, he wants to. He wants a long-term home here. It's not exactly what we're after. Someone with, you know, something to prove. You know, Saros would make sense. I mean, the years wanted is perfect. We could crank up the money. He's 28. Someone like Blackwood would also make a little bit of sense. You know, there's here's the thing, man. There's plenty of goalies around there. Not all these guys are going to find themselves a home. We already had Kemper. I kind of really like going for Saros here. Didn't have a great year last year. He was in... Ooh, he, well, he did only play... Oh, no, no, no. He got traded. What the hell? He got signed by the Islanders and traded back to Nashville? Okay. <laughs> Interesting for UC Saros. There's also Mackenzie Blackwood. Who actually didn't have too bad of a year last year. And hasn't had too bad of years. Now, the Devils were okay throughout all these years. They were, they were a pretty decent team. So it's just kind of like, I think Saros makes the most sense just because he wants two years. It makes him more. It makes it easier. Bishop, you know, that's a guy who's going to be likely a, a backup somewhere. A very, very good backup. Corpus Allo, the price is very low, but we don't need to worry about that. I, I, I kind of really like Saros in this situation. Blackwood, you know, a bit younger and stuff like that, but. You know, Saros is looking for kind of a fresh start by the looks of it, but two kind of shitty teams. I'm worried that our team, if that's how it, I don't know if our team will be that bad, you know. 
or maybe he got traded to I can't tell when those games are. It makes more sense that he maybe got traded to the Islanders pretty early on. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just I'm worried about that too much trying to figure it out here. So, when he's on yeah, when, well, he's on a good team. Those are really good numbers. His vision's better. Reflexes pretty decent. Blackwood's got the better reflexes, less vision and and uh, speed though in the athletic category. Yeah, I don't really know, man. They're both they're both good in their own way. Ah. Let's try for Saros here. I don't know. So let's see. I can get him like six, six by two or something like that. And that should be enough money spent. That would be twenty-four million. Does it show you? Oh, hold on. Let me check. Does it show us when we'd have twenty-one million left? I don't even know if that would be enough. Still, hard to say. I, I wish it kind of told you what the actual numbers were for the floor and the ceiling. I don't think it does, though. Maybe, I think even in view contracts, it doesn't tell you where the cap floor is. No. I really wish it did that. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Just kind of eyeball it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Though, the thing is, I'm also, you know, we do need a goalie. Semi-long term. I'm actually kind of more lean into Blackwood now. Just because, yeah, he'll cost a bit more. But we can get him to like, I don't know, nice little six mil for four years. That won't break the bank or anything like that. And he's slightly younger. Has a slightly better sample size. And, you know, we're not going to have a goalie ready in two years. So there's really, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for Blackwood instead. We'll give him a four by six deal. It's a bit much for a goaltender, but we will not be running into cap problems in these next few years at all. So we're actually going to go for Mackenzie Blackwood here. Give him a nice little six by four. That'll take him up till he's 30. Yeah, I actually really like him better than Aceros for the uh, semi, you know, kind of for the midterm. We're giving him sort of a midterm deal because, well, we don't really have any big goalies in the pipeline in the next two, three years. I mean, four or five years? Yeah, I'd say so. But right now, nah. You know, we got Nichushkin, 61. Two years to break in? I don't think so. It's taken at least three, probably four. So, yeah, I'm really liking uh, going for that. Prokorkin, you know, he's closer, but is he a number one? Uh, eh. Can't really say. So, yeah, I like this. I like this better. All right. So, that's that. Let me do a forward count here just to see if we need some depth. Probably. Genther might be ready. Wright might be ready, but those are two maybes. Genther's a bigger maybe. Wright looks like he'll be ready. Let's go for like two depth guys. We'll spend a bit more money like that. Like three mil each on the forward end. Because we're still also going to have to trade a couple defensemen. Not that their contracts are out of this world or anything, but... All right, let's look at that. Sort by overalls. Scroll down, get a couple guys for the, you know, depthish area. Here we go. Jankowski center. Jan Marks. Ah, he's a sniper. Dickinson. I kind of like him. What do you look like? Eh. It's okay. Songfist is pretty good, but. Yeah, I, I think Dickinson can kind of work. There's one year. As I said, we'll sign him like three mil. We're just trying to push ourselves to the cap floor. Um, Who else? Someone like Brock McGinn might be okay. Any tough guys around here? <laughs> Grinder. Oh, Pocket. I always used to like getting Pocket. How is he? In yeah, oh my god. He's so good. He's so good defensively, man. Discipline's pretty trash, but I mean, you can forget. Yeah, I, 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 I always seemed like to get Pocket, but I mean, defensively, he's just so good. 
Uh, so we're gonna pick him up again. <laughs> There we go. He'll take some penalties, but it is what it is. Couple guys right there. And that should pretty much uh, take care of things. Now, as I said, I'm going to trade a defenseman or two. Because we're getting, we should be getting two 84s. And those guys will sit in our top two. Now, what I'm hoping for that I can do with this is those guys immediately go into the top two. And while I'm doing that, Myers and Carlson, chemistry wise, both very good. In the, in the top four. And then Heberline, same deal. So if he gets the jump that I'm hoping he's getting, plays in that top four, you pair him with either one of these guys, you should be able to still get plus five, even though it's not DFD and OFD. If not, we still have Killington and Roy to choose from that we can pair him with if, you know, we really, really want that top five. But if it's, you know, if it can only be Myers or Carlson, probably Myers. Since, oh wait, I think he's a, no, no, he's a two-way. Yeah, that's even better. And then Carlson, pair him with Edmondson or whatever, two-way D, or another no, both DFT. Anyway, we have enough, basically, is what I'm saying. So, we sign the two guys. There's the rest of your four. With a question mark, Edmondson can be moved down if you want that OFD in there. And then you have Siegenthaler, Van Riemsdyk as depth. So, probably Siegenthaler as depth. And TVR on the way out. They're both at the same chemistries. Yeah, let's see who wants. I think I think Siegenthaler. Oh, no, they both have one year. But we can move out TVR. Pretty much a lot of teams are going to want this guy. So we'll move him out. Snag a pick or something. I don't know how good of a pick we can get. Five maybe? Probably not. I think that's too much. But the blocks match. Yeah, no. I mean, he's pretty much just a depth guy, so... Six we can get. No? Holy hell. All right. Give me two sevens then. I'd say TVR is worth... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, gift horse. Well, whatever. <laughs> you don't want to give up a six, but you'll give up... Oh, oh who cares? Anyway, moved that out. Got, got... I mean, it's more of just a player dump anyway. Give him a chance to play somewhere. All right. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we already made offers. Yeah, we already made the offers that we wanted to. At least that saved. And we're going to go. So let's advance some days here. Uh, now they want to give us Slavin. <laughs> and he had two years left. Damn. All right. Well, whatever. We already made our offers in free agency. Matching two by eight deals. All right. All right, coach. That's good. HL associate. Scout. Come on now, coaches. Sweet HL head coach. All these guys have like A or A minus teaching. I'm pretty sure. Oh, sweet. I got all three of them. That's big. I didn't think I would. They all had offers from other teams. But we got them all. More scouts. You can see those grades in the top. We are improving. All right, we got Hayden Flurry and... We got Jason Dickinson, Guryanov accepted extension, Severson, Blackwood, Strom accepted, Pacquiao, everyone coming to us, telling us how awesome we are and how much they want to play for us. And I think that's it. We'll go one more day for, yep. And we have everyone locked in. We should be at the cap floor. And we have, uh, we still have 21 million of cap space. Really? Well, we're about at the cap floor. Why do we still have that much cap space? 16. Did you see Sarah? Wait, wait, wait. Did we yeah, we got Blackwood. Oh, whatever. Um, I think... Oh, yeah, we did trade. No, that's only one mil off the books. Six. Plus 16. Plus... <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to sim up. I think it'll be all right. If we have to sign someone, we have to sign someone. Not going to worry about it too much, but... We got everything we need, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. I have the right number. Yep, got the right number of scouts. Scout on my coach's school. All righty, so let's see. And we're keeping an eye on any of the trades that'll happen right here. 
And then I think we might even have to redo our captains again. I don't even know what's going on. So Justin Falk goes to Montreal. St. Louis get Josh Anderson in a fourth. <laughs> oh, oh, St. Louis. Uh, but Montreal traded Josh Anderson away. For some reason, I thought I, I was thinking Columbus instead of St. Louis. I'm like, yeah, they got J Josh Anderson back. So that's one trade. I guess that it, that one is a bit of a blockbuster. So it looks like they did really revamp how the blockbuster works. Last time it was just like every little trade seeming to pop up, or they probably had a value limit. And now with this time, there's the value spread is definitely more, even if it is really weird. So maybe that's part of it how they fixed it, with the value spread being that much different. All right, yeah, let me take a look at the captains. I'm sure you guys like to see that. We still have, yeah, Backlund's still captain. Milano has an A. And Edmondson has an A. Uh, I really think Strom deserves a letter, man. We'll see. Let's see. Milano probably does. He's a badass. Uh, DeBrusque is a leader, man. Severson's a presence. Really? 87 overall, huh? Jake the Snake. Maybe he gets a letter, too. Maybe, uh, hmm. He needs a letter. If he's a fucking leader, definitely. Stevenson has a presence. I don't think he comes in and becomes captain, but especially for only two years now. I don't, eh, maybe it's an A, but. You know what? He's been such a kick ass dude since being here, honestly. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there it is. Backland. You're probably out of here. We'll, we'll keep you. We'll keep you on the Milano. No letter yet. Oh, here's what we're doing. Fucking Jake DeBrusque. Captain Jake DeBrusque. Uh, Backlund gets an A. Severson comes in and gets an A. Because as a presence, let's get our locker room in order. But yeah, I'm gonna make DeBrusque the captain. Because you know what? He's an he's an original guy from here. He's been great. He's been a consistent production guy. And he plays a solid game. There's there's our captains. And uh I won't won't be hearing any negativity about those decisions. And basically Severson's to buy time for maybe a Heberline, you know. Maybe he's a guy that deserves a letter up there. You never know. I do want to give Strom something, but eh. when you got DeBrusque listed as a leader, you gotta give him a letter. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna get the lines and scouts taken care of. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I got these lines sorted out how I want them. First line, DeBrusque, Strom, and Milano. Second line, Griana, Backlund, Bailey. Kind of a spot filler right now, and this is kind of our throwaway line, right? I, I went and got one chemistry on it at least, but yeah, this is kind of a, a trash line. This is the line that we need to work. Genther, Wright, Matsumoto, the young gun line. No, 20, 19, and 18 years of age. This is the line that we want. Uh, and then fourth line, Turris, Pocket, and Shaw. Yeah, obviously not a great line, but hey, you don't need it to be a great line. <laughs> um, so yeah, defensively, Fleury, Severson. Can't get any pluses um, on there, but we got plus three with Carlson, Myers, and then Roy and Heberline. He didn't jump up, so I'm going to play him, you know, in the top six where he, you know, sort of belongs and give him a nice OFD to uh, play with. And they get plus three chemistry, so... All in all, our defensive core is incredibly even. 84, 84, 83, right? With the chemistries in line. So, um, pretty decent when you think about it. Uh, special teams, I'll give you a look at the power play. This is the, the setup for the top unit. Getting Matsumoto there on the top one. Second one, Genther and Wright together with Guriana, Backlund, Severson. You know, trying to spread the love a bit. Give you a quick... I didn't even touch the foreman. Whatever it is is what the computer had. I don't care about that as much. Penalty kill, same thing. Just letting the computer kind of dictate that for now. I don't really have any uh, dogs in that fight. Uh, I did touch the uh, four-man a bit. The defensive pairings are exactly the same, but I put Wright in here to pair with Gurionov. Then over here, Backlund here, and then Matsumoto. No Genther yet. Um, you know, see see how he gets, but yeah, not in there yet. Here's a three-on-three. Three. Uh, oops. I didn't do that right at all. I forgot to do that. All right. Backlund. And then Matsumoto. I did the defenseman, I just forgot to do that. There we go. Bam! Severson, Flurry, Roy. Alright, extra attacker to Brusque, and I'm switched to Milano, so let's move that back to 
Uh, Guryanov, there we go. Those two will be the extra attackers. Shootout lineup, I didn't touch. I'll, whatever, let the game do that. I don't care about that enough right now. Uh, depth guys, Dickinson, Siegenthaler. And our goalies, Blackwood and Ingram. And in the HL, Montembeau and Prokorkin. He'll be a solid backup to Montembeau. Give you a quick look at what our lines here look like. Wong, hopefully the future captain, now in the AHL. Very, very solid. I mean, it's, he's, he's listed as depth, you know, so I'm not, I might bring him up at the end of the year, but I got to start him in the AHL. He's playing with a power forward and a sniper. So, I mean, that should give him a lot to work with. Got Dimitrov here. He's now 2176. He might not even make it up into the top six, but, you know, he's got the good offensive stats. We'll see how he develops. Yeah, and that is it. So yeah, again, that second line's a bit of a throwaway line. And the reason I'm not trying to boost Gurionov is, well, he's on this last year at three and a half mil. And he jumped up. He's going to want too much money this year, most likely. I don't know. Did I extend him? I can't remember. <laughs> Let's actually see. Did I extend the guy? I know I extended a few. I don't think I extended Gurionov. I could be wrong about that. I might I might be wrong about that. I probably did it. Uh, what? I didn't Oh, that's right. Because, yeah, DeBrusque wanted a crap ton. So I did extend. extend oh, Gurionov, one year extension. DeBrus is the captain now. Oh my goodness. Uh, we don't want to lose him, obviously, but that is a lot of dough. He might maintain that, but it might also turn out to be a flop of a deal. Five years at like seven something, maybe under seven. But uh, still. I do want to lock him in, and you know what? As our captain, let's pay the guy. I usually won't do this. Yeah, it's six, eight, seven, five <laughs> for five years for the brush. You know what? It's not even that bad, considering what we'll get out of him the next few years. Well, theoretically. Yeah, let's do it before he has too good of a year and that price goes. Yeah, it's not the best, especially if you know drops back down from the stack growth. But it is what it is. Milano jumped way the hell up. I guarantee. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. I could wait on that, but we do have him top line. Backlund's gonna be. Yeah, we'll have cash for all this, to be honest. Yeah, let's make it interesting. Let's just lock the guys in that we know. I really don't like this price tag. Oh, my God. Well, I, I, I guess I got to like that price tag of it. Hopefully, he has a good year on that top line because we're about to pay him five and a half for three years after this. Is he going to turn into a Dustin Brown? <laughs> we'll see. Well, whatever. Let, let's make it fun. Let's... He's, I mean, look at his offensive stats. The guy should be set. I mean, he should be good. We're, we're banking on it. We're giving him... We're going a bit more realistic with those uh, things. You're, you're going to be a first liner. Let's give him first line dough. All right. And we're about to go preseason. I think we're good to go. Let's do it. And we don't need to do the whole fully scouted thing. Oh, of course, of course, of course you do that to me. Which day do I want to go to? We'll go to this day. Um, I don't really want to be bothered with trade offers. Okay. All right, Milano, DeBrusque. The, both of them accepted those extensions, and why wouldn't they? All right, uh-oh. Now we're we we going to have a terrible season? <laughs> Now, it's going to be interesting to see how this defensive core and Mackenzie Blackwood works together, including, I mean, we have a good first line. Our second line's pretty meh. It's all about that third line. Our special teams have to be good this year. And again, we don't have a great coaching staff either. So this could be a pretty bad year. We hope it isn't, though, because we're just signing guys to extensions, right? I brought, you know, th theoretically, you probably should have waited on those, but eh, I don't care. The time I've, you know, committed to those guys long term is the time we're actually going to tank, isn't it? Even though we have that in-between team, now we're going to tank, right? <laughs> we're going to skip that. I got all my scouts assigned till February. Um, the next one that pops up, I'll start spot scouting. That was a big one. Oh, my God. We can score some goals. That's what I like to see. Lost that, but got a point out of it. 4-1-1 one, one to start the season off. Lost to Calgary. That's a divisional opponent. You don't like to lose those games. Let's beat the division. Oh, two divisional games we just lost. Zane Eastwood is an AHLer, but he's out for a bit. I think that was an elbow fracture. He's out for a while. Well, you know what? I actually didn't check if it has any... Oh. <laughs> Get a defenseman in there. Come on, win some games here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
All right, we are in third. Tied for it, though. Connor... Oh, really? November 10th. That's not that long. Bought the... Okay, we're going to call up the guy who doesn't have to clear waivers. Which is... I mean, we could call up Camillary, but we actually don't want to perform that badly. We're going to give Prokorkin a taste. We don't want... Because Montembeau, he's likely going to get claimed when we send him back down. I mean, he's an 80 overall goaltender. He's on a good deal. Oh, fuck me. Did they just do the thing on me? And drop again? What the fuck is that? <laughs> and we just signed him to like six. <laughs> we got trolled. Game trolled us. Oh, well. We'll have some overpaid guys for a bit. Not the biggest deal, right? Oh, boy. Hopefully that bounces back up. Oh, I don't know what it... I don't know. I don't know why it does that, man. Don't ask me. Well, we're winning a bunch of games still, so I could care less, I guess. They're getting the job done. But, uh, yeah, that's not fun. Why did it do that, you dick? For real, though. Why? Why? Man, he's only got nine points. He's got 14. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, game. E even with Fog of War off, it doesn't fucking matter. Game's just gonna do it at once, I guess. Yeah, so, hindsight, you don't make those deals. But again, it doesn't matter because we have so much freaking cap space. It's not gonna, like I said, it's not gonna matter whatsoever that we made those deals. And you can dump those guys at any time, really, anyway. And our, and our big guys coming in aren't even gonna need huge, huge deals for a bit. So, don't worry about it. We're fine. Prokorkin, did you play in the NHL? Is that AHL though? Oh my god, he oh my god, look what he did. Holy hell, he had himself a game in Seattle. <laughs> it's because he's low overall, man. Alright, come on, Seattle. <laughs> Jesus. Lost that game. Yeah, we might we might actually fucking tank now because our dudes who are high overall are now low overall. What the hell is that? I don't get it, but whatever. We're allowed some goals there. Time to bounce back and, and score some goals. Let's beat San Jose. That's a big win. We need those divisional games. Beat LA. Where, are, where is LA? They're right ahead of us now. We're ahead of them. Nice shutout victory. Bit weaker, says the scout on this draft class. Oof, tough loss right there. Zane Eastwood's back. Yeah, I think we got defensemen on the fourth line. <laughs> Not that it matters. Ooh, damn, man. 11, 8, and 3. Give us this back-to-back. -back. Come on, give us two wins. Whatever. Come on. Lost, lo oh my god. 11, 10, and 3. I don't, I, I mean, I, all right. And this makes sense because, but I mean... F you game. You were when we were terrible, we were in a playoff position. Alright, let's see. Cause since we're actually trying to be a good team now, what's going on here? Scoring goal. What the heck? Look at the ratio. That's a that's that's a winning. I mean, look at the teams ahead of us. Look at their ratios. How the fuck? Okay, well, nothing wrong really with our five on five play. We could allow nothing wrong with the power play. No, what the hell? Nothing wrong with the penalty kill. We're okay. I'm I I can't complain. I literally can't complain. I can complain about DeBrusque and Milano dropping off for no reason. But they should jump back up if they have good years. Which they damn well should. I mean, he's our, almost at point per game. DeBrusque a bit below, but that's still good production. 10 goals. He's on pace for 30 plus. I don't know what the deal is with that, with their stat growth disappearing all the time. I'm not too sure why that's a thing. But whatever. Uh, Strom is carrying. Matsumoto, holy hell, he is a goal scorer. 14 goals. How many shots? Yeah, he shoots a pretty decent chunk. Damn right he does. Man, this is good. That's good news. Because we got, you know, the center playmakers. And Genther doesn't shoot as much. But he can give us hybrid production. Holy hell, man. The future looks bright. The future is looking exceptionally bright. Look at that power play production. Gee, this is from the point, too. He's doing this for playing the point. Christ almighty, Matsumoto. 
What a beast. What a rookie year he's having so far. He, he might be a front runner for the Calder. Genther doing really well. Um, interestingly, yeah, Shane Wright not doing that good. But 0.5 point per game isn't horrible. But he needs, he needs a bit more. Definitely could use a bit more. How's the defenseman looking? Severson, Roy. Roy's got decent production. Um, Heberline, good. His plus minus is very good. Good, good, good. That that's good. Um, Ingram not doing so hot. Blackwood's doing decently. Could be doing better, but it's not bad. Ingram though, not the greatest of backups right now. But we'll get we'll keep giving him time. All in all. Not a bad start. Now we're going to go up, get this next month done, check out some of the growth. See how we're plugging along in that regard. There we go. We needed that win. Hopefully we see some growth to the, uh, to the NHL as well, right? I mean, we haven't really seen that. All right, so no franchise this year. Let, uh, yeah, you know what, I guess I should do the first round. Though we're not, like, that strong. We're not looking to draft that heavily anymore. I should still take a look at it. Why not? Uh, still that glitch thingy happening. Not bad. Got some decent info. It's just annoying that you can't rely on auto scout anymore. Now that they are patching this game early November, so hopefully that's a thing that they're actually addressing. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it should be. I mean, these have all been highly reported, highly uh, bitched about on social media. And uh, yeah, it's got to be taken care of. So I'm, I'm guessing those are things being addressed for franchise mode. And if you, yeah, to, when Tugu was able to play. Get a get a look at this game before the, these these issues weren't a thing. So not too sure why this uh, release build had those issues, but whatever. It is what it is. We're dealing with it. A patch is coming. Yay! Hopefully it doesn't break more things. <laughs> it All right. So continuing here. Almost got this first first uh, whatever taken care of. I won't really look to goalies as heavily. Maybe I'll scout some of them. Because you have to scout them by yourself, pretty much, because your auto scout doesn't. So, like, I'll probably take a look at them. Ooh, there we go. Looking like the low elites are starting to kick in late first, early second. That guy should be a low elite. I see no reason not uh, that he's not. This is a goalie, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Let's look at potentials now. Um. Take a look at that guy. That could be a top six, which is good enough. This next guy could be in the medium elite territory. No guarantee. Far from a guarantee. But, uh... That, you know, third, fourth-ish round at times can have some medium elites that are, you know, stretches to actually make the NHL. But obviously still worth taking a look at. Oop. Get you as well. I mean, they. I mean, with medium elite potential, they have a decent chance of making the NHL. But like third liner, maybe. You know, I've, ha I've had those occasions when those dudes like that make the NHL. They're like third liners, sometimes second liners, but oftentimes they don't make the NHL, even with that elite potential. Medium elite as well. So I mean, yeah. So that's 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 what I like. It's the nature of of the game. But I definitely think that, you know, draft ranking should have a higher impact on some of the uh, potential, especially if the guy's not growing. Like, if he still has that medium elite potential, you can, like, hold on to a guy for two or three years and he still has, you know, like, half filled up medium elite potential. Trade him for a good amount and he never pans out to anything. Like, that's a bit crazy. Taking a look at all these guys, though. All the low elite potentials. Give me them all. Alright, yes, Galinen. Yeah, sure. We got uh, <laughs> plenty of scouts available. It's 
kind of nuts that these a lot of these guys are available, but they're oh whatever, doesn't matter. Gem, take a look at him. Come on, freaking click in as fast as I can, but the game doesn't want to keep up with me. Definitely feels slower on the menu too. And I was told that wasn't a thing either. It felt faster in the menu in the earlier build. So question is, what the heck happened in optimization prior to the release that slowed it all down again? I don't know. I, I didn't get a chance to touch it, so I can't say. But yeah, it doesn't feel super, super fast. And the sim, I don't know. You guys tell me, does the sim feel faster? I was told that was a huge selling point. The sim was going to be faster. I don't think it's that much faster. Again, it's been a while since I've touched 20 It's in franchise mode, but I don't know, man. Didn't really seem faster to me. All right, you know, we could go. Yeah, let's look at the defenseman. Eh. A lot of, a lot of lottery, lotteries. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to bother. Fuck it. All right, we'll we're done for now on that. Let's win some games here, Seattle. Come on, get into that playoff spot. Yes, there we go. Good start to the month. We're back in third, tied with LA, who has a wild card now, so we got to keep winning games. There we go. Big... Oh, get a point out of it. And you know what? We don't give a point to a West team, so it's not the worst thing to have happen. Nice shutout right there. This is a great month. And I think we just handed Buffalo. No, they no, they beat us. I thought we handed them a loss. Oh, well. Come on, answer back with a... Oh, come on. You can't lose to a sub-500 team. We just lost our playoff spot. Oh, geez, Seattle. Right as we go on a tear, we have to erase it with a bit of a losing streak. Don't want to see that. Come on. Back on the winning side of things. We do have the wild card spots in this division, but we're four points out. Of that third point. Blackhawks fired their coach. Carolina's a good team. We beat them. Then we got a point out of Pittsburgh. But we got to start winning those OT games. 19, 13, and 5. It's a tougher division now. Everyone's kind of getting better. Strom is doing great. Our chemistry is looking good. Almost at 80%. So that's good. The locker room's in good shape. Let's see how uh, what we got for growth. Yeah, see? What the fuck? Like, wh why is this a thing? Year in, year out. They get stack growth, but then they get the natural minuses. I that, that has to be a glitch too, right? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Why are they naturally climbing at age 27? I, I, I really don't understand that. They should be where they are. I think that... that ha yeah, because this is like... It's, do it's done this almost every year. That has to be part of a glitch. Or else what the... Ooh, hello. Haverline's growing. He's ready for top four time. I, do we bump him up? I think we bump him up. Uh, yeah, we, we got to bump him up. Genther's grown as well. Still listed his fourth line, but he's growing where he is. So keep him going. Matsumoto's grown a bit. Still listed his third line. That's good. Shane Wright's grown a bit. This is good news for us. Good. Guys in the NHL that we want to grow are growing. Hello. Isaiah Nash grown quite a bit. When we draft this guy? Yeah, he was at mid first. So that's good. He's grown. Bang. Low elite, 71 at 20. He's on pace. That's a lot of growth. Hell of a lot of growth. Goalie here. Meh. Alcock. Meh. He's not really on pace. And Chushkin, just below pace. Could get up there. Uh, Fritz. That's another golden. Not, yeah, not looking great. But we got him. All right. Let's go by potentials. Who's not growing that we want to grow? Chistov. That sucks. He's the one who jumped up a bunch. Did I, wait, 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 no, I didn't sign him. I was, yeah. Should I sign him? I might, might as well sign him now and put it, yeah, you know what, I'm going to sign him and put him in my HL. Oh, Wong's grown, that's huge, that's huge for us. And he's got morale boosts. Faceoffs need to go up more, but it's all right where he is. We went up, offense awareness, good. Wong, Wong grown, that's good. Bit slower going, let's sign Chi Stob, I think. Or, how old is he? 1976. I don't necessarily have to, but I do get to control where he plays. Oh, he is signed. What? Oh, is he an exemption then? Because he's not. He must be an exemption. Where is he? Burnaby. Oh, is he in there? Was I just fucking blind? I might be blind. I'm probably blind. What the hell? Why did I think he wasn't in there? He clearly is. So we are dictating where he's playing. Can I switch? Thanks. 
Oh, see, oh, see, that's that's part of the issue. Oh yeah, I'm, I when I reset. Okay, fuck me. Okay, well let's give him at least plus one chemistry. Okay, there we go. Now he's in a better spot. That's my bad. He was listed as minor top six. But we'll give him the chemistry was hurting him. Let's give him a bit better chemistry, bit better ice time. My bad. All right. Um. Now I can keep it plus three, plus three, or I can get plus five. I think we want plus five for him and Roy. <laughs> I think that's the thing we want. Yeah, these guys will drop to only plus one, but they're pretty much done growing, right? And if these guys are our top six pairing, give me plus one down there, really have no issue with that. So we'll do that, keep everything else the way it is. Yep, and let's go all the way to the deadline. Power through, baby. Power through. All right. Come on now, Seattle. Keep on keeping on. Ugh, tough loss right there. We got to win those, this freaking divisional opponents, man. We keep losing to them. Vancouver's a good team. Ah, yeah, fuck, man. We're really hurting our chances here to make the post. Oh. Four, five losses in a row. Six losses in a row, Seattle. Come on. What's going on? I made that change, and all of a sudden, we're shit in the bed. Come on. Bounce back. Get adjusted. We're used to have a wild card spot right now. We're pretty fortunate. Oh, jeez. Goals against. Holy fuck, what's happening? Those changes don't seem to be doing well. I'm going to lay off that for now. I'll do that in the next one. I'm, I'm too concerned about our team's performance to worry about scouting. Come on, guys. Win some games. Ah, oh, it's a big win right there. Good defense. I don't like our goals against since that move, though. But we'll let, we'll let it play out. We'll let it play out. We have to. Our goal isn't to win now, right now. Our goal is to develop our guys. If we can make the playoffs, then, you know, more power to us. Come on, Seattle. Good month right here. We got a point out of it. All right, fine. We have a wild card spot. We got another big win. Tampa Bay's not playing good. You can't lose those games. We can't be losing those games. We gotta we gotta smell blood. We gotta win those games, man. Wong's up to 81. It's good for us. We're gonna have to acquire someone in a trade, though. We really need some forwards for that AHL. Oh, we're in third now. We've bounced up. Big wins, man. There we go. Zane Eastwood, man. Stop getting injured. You're annoying me. <laughs> Future captain Trevor Wong. What's he still listed as depth though? So honestly, I'm gonna keep him here. 47 points, 55 games played. Not tremendous, but not bad. Dimitriev's jumped up one overall. That's good. 29, 19, and eight. Tough loss right there. Oh come on, Burnaby. Now I gotta put a defenseman in here. Yeah, I don't care enough about my AHL. It's development. <laughs> Take some face-offs there, Mr. Defenseman. You'll be fine. Come on, give me, give me, th uh, uh, oof, Josh Bailey, March 5th, he's out for, oh my god, Matsumoto, <laughs> 35 goals, holy hell, oh, still this is third line, I really want to bump him up, but that's a lot of growth, I don't have to, and putting him there is almost a no-win situation for him, I'm gonna leave him where he is, he's having so much friggin' success, with the power play time, he should be okay. Probably not the most popular decision, and I'll probably hear from it in the comment section, but if it's working, it's working. All right, give me, give me, give me these last four, give me six out of these last eight points. You know what, seven. Let's go, let's go high. Who are you? Get out of here. Seven out of these last um, eight points, especially since we lost that last game. Got Dan's back, good. Shoot for the moon, baby. Now Dan, yeah, I don't. I really wanted this guy to become a fourth liner. He just couldn't quite get over that hump. Come on, baby. There we go. There's four. Let's get six right here. Six. Ah, all right. We, well, you know what? Six. I called for seven. That was, that was a tall order. They gave me six. You know, that's okay. 32, 22, and eight. That's a good position that we have ourselves in. Tough for division this year. But we're right there in third, a five-point lead over the Kings. However, no more wild... Ooh, the wild cards are one and two points behind us. But as long as we can maintain our lead over the Kings, 
you know, we'll be able to lock ourselves in the playoffs. Locker room chemistry is at 80%. Get hyped, boys. The development is happening. The team's looking good. And our youngsters, well, the future's bright. That's all I'll say. Good good ratio. 3.21, 2.73. It's not the dream scenario yet, but we don't have the dream team. So this is good where we are. Yeah, power play wasn't going to sustain at 30%, but it's still doing really good. Penalty kill did drop too. It's more average-ish now. Ooh. Stepped on that stepped on on, on the road, but whole mice are kind of struggling. 6-4-0 in the last 10. That's still good. Alright, let's check out. Let's check this out. That's a moto. Holy hell, man. He's having ooh, Debruskin uh Milano though. Oh, especially Debrusque not looking good. Come on, man. Earn that paycheck, Captain. It's still yeah, he might not even hit 30 holes. So that's a bit, bit concerning. It is a bit concerning. First line. I mean, they're not the elite of the elite, but Matsumoto, man, he's, he's going to be a 40-goal rookie year. Might win the Calder. Unfortunately, his chemistry is shit on that first line, which is why these aren't going to be our long-term coaches. You can tell when you're seeing our youngsters coming in like that. These aren't. This isn't the coaching staff for us, right? Um, the good thing about is Strom is maxed out, so who's better? Gryanov, nope, he's better for second. DeBrusque, all right, so maybe try it. Maybe move Milano down. To like, yeah, you know what? We might we might revamp our lines a bit here for the final push. I mean, you you can't you can't keep Matsumoto out of the top six at this point. Might even need that top line. I mean, look at what he's doing. And as a goal scorer, he is put him with you know Strom and DeBrusque. DeBrusque could be hybrid. I'm liking it. That takes a bit of the you know the load off of DeBrusque for having to score the goals. I think that's part of the issue. Milano's not quite hybrid. DeBrusque's not quite pure goal scorer, right? Um, yeah, that might be part of the issue here. Anyway, Shane Wright, 40 points, man. He's on pace for 50 on the third line rookie year. Can't hate that. You cannot hate that. Backlund, Genther. Genther's not great, but you know what? Genther was the weakest link, and he's still growing. He's still doing good. Leave him right where he is. No reason. Keep him and Wright together right now. Yeah, Bailey's trash. <laughs> uh, defensively, Severson, Roy. Good plus minuses from everyone. How's the goaltending situation? Blackwood's doing good. Ingram giving solid. All right, he doesn't have the points, but his numbers are good. Yeah, that's the, that's that's the bad part. His points are just not there. But Blackwood, get it. yeah, he's only got me 12 points in 18 games played. That's not what I want. My backup to get the in his games played. I want that amount of points out of my backup. I don't care as much what these numbers are. More icing on the cake. Like he's doing good, but we're not winning in front of him. So the team definitely more confident with Mackenzie Blackwood, and that's a good thing. He's our goalie for the next you know three years after this. Rooks, look at that, man. Look at that. Looking very solid. You know what? For fun, let's see where he's at in the Calder race. Where is he at? In the Holy shit. Andre Breelin. Yeah, he was drafted first overall last year. Oh, man. Poor Matsumoto. But he's got more goals than him, but Breelin. Jeez. Yeah, I don't think you're... Sorry, Matsumoto, but... Yeah, probably people can be like, you should have moved him up earlier. Hey, we had to do what works for the team. We are a team. I wanted to go to edit lines, you bitch. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of do some uh, theoreticals here. All right, we get plus three. I think that's a no-brainer then to move Matsumoto up there. Milano to the second line. It's not ideal, but I want him to keep you know getting points. So this is probably the best. Situation for him to get those points. Gurianov's doing pretty fucking good on that line. So we put Milano there. That should, you know, only improve it. Dickinson will be moved back out. We'll have, what's his name there? Ugh. Turris is better. Turris gives him a plus one. You know what? We'll do that. Keep that chemistry intact. I think Bailey... Nah, yeah, he, he wouldn't be good. He wouldn't be good on that third line. We'll we'll get Turris there. Bailey will go on. To, he'll be relegated to the fourth line. Not a big deal. Get an older guy in Turris to help these guys out. He's not great at all. <laughs> I don't even. Maybe we even pick up a guy to help out right in Genther. You know, some kind of a tough veteran power forward. Then we could just you know we can move Bailey out. Keep Turris on that fourth line. That might be something we can do as well. Someone who would really fit that fourth line. We have, you know, playmaker, sniper, 
give us someone on that third line who would be good. And uh, who's a, you know, veteran power forward or something. Something for this playoff push. Because we're looking like a playoff team. We can kind of, uh, you know, we can kind of maybe buy some stuff. Got to keep Heberlein and Roy together. Roy, you know, he's not putting up tremendous amounts of points or anything like that. But, you know, he's he's good. He's a good spot filler. You can't argue with the results. It doesn't look good on paper, but you cannot argue with the results he's putting up right now. But, yeah, Rory Matsumoto. Fourth overall selection, and he is looking like he should have gone two overall. <laughs> and we got him. Loving it. Just wait till it's like him, Wright, or Wong with Genther. Oh, oh just wait. With the good coach. With a good... This guy... Hold on, hold on. Where's, where does it show you that he likes the scheme yeah okay yeah scheme fit he doesn't like it yeah yeah okay that's it Whew, oh boy all right um anyway uh i lost my train of thought i i just got really excited thinking about the future anyway oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so maybe a possible trade possible trade i could go to like find play i don't think i could do that really so someone, veteran power forward. I don't know if we'll find someone like that. Zucker? Two-way, but he's pretty good. He's not, not that power, and he fits in on our third line. Zucker's a guy, but they don't want to sell him. We'll just kind of look around now, look at some names. Bruins. Coil. Coyle could be, eh, I wish his, his offense isn't that good, though. Plus, he's got three years left. It's not really a rental. We definitely need someone who's more of a rental. No one there fits that bill. We might not even see the blocks as they should be. Bailey and no. Not really. But, again, we can, we can look. We don't have to make that move, but I'd, if... If something like that's available, man, we really should. If only Mantha had a year. Mm, gets laugh, but pro eh, maybe too old, huh? And not really a winger. He's got the stats, though. That's the thing. And he fits into under a third line. He's got the stats. Fits to the third line. Could probably at least, at least help him out. It's not the biggest trade. It wouldn't cost the. It wouldn't cost a lot either. But I worry about him declining. Right? I do worry about him declining. But he's still got the offensive stats to get the job done, so it's it's pretty low risk. Extended. Arvidsson. Sniper. Second line guy. Wait, wait, wait. Philip Forsberg. Oh, wait, wait. That, <laughs> that's a seven, not a one. Uh, nope. Not really. Nope. New. How's Brady not extended? Better get on that. Timo time, but three years. Fair be Voracek. Nah. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh, Blake. Oh, Blake fucking Wheeler. Top nine potential. He shouldn't drop too much more after that. We it's way way less value, way less value. Ah, ew, doesn't look like he fits. Cause Perry Captain Captain does fit third line. Ah, damn. Not no no match made in heaven. But that's a cheap ass thing to grab Wheeler. He's so cheap. Other than that though, we're kind of getting to the end. And. So Wilson Power for now he's a grinder in this still. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. There's a couple options in there, and neither of them would cost a whole lot. It's not huge risk. We wouldn't have to give up a ton. You know, we got to just we ask ourselves, do we want to give up a second in a year where it looks like low elites are, are coming in? Or we can look for something else to give up. There's probably other things we could shift around, and we might not have to give up a second. We can wheel and deal and stuff like that. And, yeah. 
All right, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, we're looking good. We look like we should be a playoff team. Our youngsters are developing. All signs pointing north here in Seattle. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.